Hello everyone, Sientier here, uh, also known as Ben. I'm once again joined by my sister as we continue Majora's Mask. Hello. It is written in letters you've never seen before. You need to be a Goron to read Goron script, apparently. Apparently so. That's interesting. Well, let's see what this looks like. Look at those teeth. Wow. Those are for gnawing on rocks, yeah. right? The Goron hero Darmani III rests here. In honor of a great hero, this memorial is inscribed with the knowledge of a great hero. Will you read the knowledge imparted by the great hero? Techniques for action. O chosen Goron hero, your power to lift objects without effort is mightier than the strength of any other. And your heart is strong too, as it is filled with compassion that is kinder than any other. Goron heroes press A on the control stick so that they may curl up and roll wherever it is that they may need to go. If Gorons who possess magic power roll swiftly enough, spikes will emerge from their bodies so that they may ma mow down enemies. Water is disastrous for Goron heroes, for they sink like stones and are rendered motionless in the deep. Beware. Like, this way of having the tutorial is kind of fun, because it, it's like, you know, yeah, it, in world. The powerful punch that Goron heroes unleash by pressing B is feared by all. By repeatedly pressing B, Goron heroes will deal out a barrage of punches. After using A to curl up, a Goron can jump with B and land with a quaking impact that is so mighty can flatten enemies. They can also move tombstones in order to find spring water. Yep. The stalagmites are purple. Like, this is a very colorful game, you know? Especially when your saturation is cranked way high for that, a good reason. That too, but even when it's not, it's a very colorful game. Yeah, it is. Like, Majora's Mask itself is very colorful too. Alright, we've got one bottle. Let's use it wisely. Is that money over there? Or just glittering things, I guess. You need to use it before it cools. You should be Darmani, though, to do this. That's like a jewel on the ground or something. It's just some snow bits, I think. Oh, snow. That makes more sense. Okay. Though there is hot spring. You think it might be warm. Ow. Ow. I'm showing everybody what this does. Yeah. Now, obviously, like, if you're replaying this, you have fire arrows that you can yeah. use instead of having to, like, you know, wander around. Huh? What have I been doing? Oh, are you all right, brother? You were frozen and this person saved you. Frozen? I, I was? Really? I don't know who you are, but thank you. Now, if you're Darmani, I feel like maybe a different dialogue. Oh, it's cold. I wonder if we will ever be able to return to Goron Village. Um, like... In that they're like, they know who you are, rather than this random person saved you. Oh, not him. The other. The quality of your mind is ghost. Okay. Oh. It has to be who's name, but Darmani, I can't take it. <laughs> I feel like there's some point where they're like, I just buried your grave. I, what, did I imagine that? Uh, it has to be seeing Darmani's ghost. Yikes, I think I'll go freeze again. Which we do see him in, in the cutscene after the temple that he's frozen again. So he did freeze again. Yeah. Um, that didn't need happen. But yes, uh, there is... Oh, he's too tall. That's so funny. Or maybe, maybe you're just too shallow. You're too shallow. Okay. Um, there is another hot spring somewhere that's closer to where the Goron Elder is. FYI. Sure. Is this for the smithy, though? Oh! Wow. That's, that's quite the uh, swan dive you took there. Do swans dive like that? I don't know. I can't quite picture a swan diving like that. Is this where I need to go? Well, are you going for the Gorn Elder? Or? Yes. Okay. In theory, you talk to the sun first, so you know you need to find the Elder, but... We can do it this way, too. One of these has a grotto in it, I think. And one contains a Goron Elder. In theory, at least. I wonder how long the hot spring water stays hot. I don't know. We might find out. Ow! I thought you lived in the swamp. I guess there is water here. So maybe that's what's up. Are you close enough? I'm paranoid you're too far away. Okay, good. You were close enough. Huh? What was I doing? Ah, it's already this late. I must hurry. 
It is nighttime after all. I. Huh? Oh, you're Darmani! But you're supposed to be dead! Am I hallucinating? Maybe this is also the doing of Snowhead's magic power. Hmm. I've been made a fool of. But that's impossible. I refuse to flinch. If I can see past the illusion, you'll vanish in an instant. Um, I think he might refreeze if you leave the area, just to warn you. I could be wrong about that. But I think that might happen. Well, that's probably a thing that can happen. We will discover this other. But at least we can... Oh, I think that right there, that hole there, might be where the hot spring water is. That could be. It's not too bad to go get more if I need yeah. to. Goron Shrine. Please see the gatekeeper above. Or you can open it yourself. There are Gorons on their door. That's fun. Yeah. That's a fun noise. They're all covering their ears. Whoa, that was dizzying. Sideburns! Ah, oh, that's funny! It's your sideburns. Aren't you Darmani? You're supposed to be dead, but you're alive? What have you been doing? Thinking you were dead, the elder went to Snowhead on his own. But for now, please go to the elder's son, hurry! More like elder's grandson, am I right? I guess he had a kid when he was old. <laughs> daddy, daddy, I'm cold, daddy! <laughs> oh, darn me. Where's my daddy? Where's my daddy? Oh, that mouth that just opened. So cute. You need to talk to the dad first, actually. <laughs> you need to tell the dad his son wants him. Everyone in here is miserable. Ooh, Deku sticks. That's so that you can light the torches. Yes. Then you could get Don Jero's mask. We'll, which we will want. We will want Don Jero's mask. We won't do anything with it. Because that is a, a time-consuming quest. But we will have it so that we can get the Fierce CD's mask, right? Yep. You're too tall to punch small things, apparently. It is interesting, like, having a character with different heights. Like, when you do the Song of Soaring... Mm -hmm. It the, kind of, come, the, kind of the, comes out of his butt. The wings just kind of come out of the same place no matter what, which can be very different if you're Link versus if you're a Zora or something. Hi, Tektite. Kind of you to wait your turn and not attack. <laughs> Until it went skittering oh, off. Oh wow! It really did go skittering off. Let's see if he refroze. I think he did. Yep, he refroze. So more spring water for you. So he's near the. the like, keep in mind where he is, so we can find him again easily. I think we remember he's by the. The ramp. first ramp. Yeah. We can climb all the way back up again, don't we? Yep. Alright, at least we know the way this time. Right, left, right. Yeah? I like those snowy pine trees. I like the appearance of snowy pine trees. Wait, what? This wasn't a problem last time. <laughs> what did you do differently last time? I jumped across this one. Yeah, that must have been it. I was like, there was no problem last time. Okay. That's funny. Now, this map is showing you that this is a higher-up platform that you're going to. I don't know why the dungeon maps are lacking detail, but they have to manually make them, so... Yeah. They have to manually make them? You mean the game designers? Yeah. You can also see where the water is. It's slightly darker where there's water. See that? Yeah. So, this is really weird. They've, they've got all of that for the overworld map, but not... Huh. That's interesting. Uh, it's not like it's something that the compass unlocks because we were looking at it after you got the compass weren't we or at least when you were, you were looking at it and you just saw treasure chests huh. 
interesting. Hot spring water. It's interesting the idea of Gorons being associated with hot springs, because that shows back up in Breath of the Wild. Good point. Yeah, and that's actually kind of funny because they're on a really hot mountain, and here they're on a really cold mountain, <laughs> but they have hot springs both ways, don't they? Yeah. Yeah, that is an interesting point. Hmm. Don't know if that was intentional or not. Or just like a quirk of how the things worked out. Yeah, I don't know. Too bad you have to stop rolling when you switch places, huh? A little bit. The friction of the snow helps you speed up more quickly, doesn't it? All right, let's go talk to him about his poor little son. I wonder what Goron females look like. I don't know. Huh? What was I doing? Ah! It's already this late, I must hurry. No matter how long you follow me, I'm not going to it's not going to do you any good. What? My son is crying because he misses me? His lip is quivering. Why do you know that? My son misses me. Oh, p forgive me, my child. Your father has work to do. Is he using his hands to walk like a gorilla? So. Damani, be you a ghost or a figment of my imagination, I no longer care. If you feel pity for my crying son, then please quietly sing my son to sleep with this song I am about to play on my drum. It is the very same melody that was often played for you when you were young. One little drum that's so cute. How does this song go? Huh? Let me play it once more. Um... Yeah, yes, yes, like this. It's no good! I can remember only the beginning. I hate it when that happens. Oh. I'll just teach you the beginning. Da da. It's like two notes he's missing. Yeah. Da da. <laughs> da da. Da da. <laughs> like, this is not. My they call it the intro, and it's basically the whole song. It's funny. It's really going down on those drums. Mm hmm. You learn a lullaby intro. The soothing melody of a thoughtful. Th thoughtful? <laughs> he forgot. It's not that I forgot it, it's just so cold that I can't play very well. At any rate, I am counting on you. As he, like, staggers back and forth. Yeah, that would actually be, like, terrifying to have that memory loss like yeah. that. Yeah. That would be really scary. I am counting on you to take care of my son. I, just that, that awareness of that would be really scary and frightening. Yeah. I mean, I remember when we visited our great aunt this last fall mm -hmm. and so she's like 90 something and she was talking about how like when she would see old people with all this like stuff scattered on their tabletop she was like you know, and then she's like now that's me because you have to have it there so you can reach it you know yeah. and, and all this is like you know I just kind of this uh, some of the I don't want to say degradation necessarily but like the indignities the can, indignities of age. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and that's part of why respecting elders is so important. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, Darmani, you're alive. Because, like, so much about life as you get older, you lose those dignities. And so giving the, to them socially yeah. is a huge yeah. compensation factor. Uh huh. Because they're losing it physically and, and possibly mentally yeah. as well. Um, and that awareness of it. Mm hmm. This is wonderful, but there's no time for catching up. Something isn't done right now about that crying. Look at this. The torch that was lit has just gone out. Ugh, again with that terrible crying. I guess he's blowing so hard that the torches can't stay lit. The 
those sideburns. Aren't you? I love that it has sideburns. It's not the necklace. It's the sideburns. Aren't you supposed to Darmani? You're supposed to be dead, but you're alive? The elder was troubled because he thought you were dead. I'm troubled too. The elder went to Snowhead and hasn't come back, so now his son is so lonely he won't stop crying. If you don't find the Goron Elder and ask him to come back, I'll never be able to sleep. And it just keeps getting colder outside. Even in here, it is so cold that we could freeze. I think it's interesting that the first song you learn is Awakening, and this one is now a lullaby. Like, to yeah. wake someone up and make them go to sleep. Kind of interesting. One of the other things that's a little confusing about the directionality is instead of moving your thumb and pushing a button, you just move your thumb. Uh, that song, that's the song Daddy always plays for me before I go to sleep. I'll sing the next part. Got like one little tooth. That's so cute. Mm -hmm. I feel like important Gorons get hair. And There's a lot more don't. fathers in this game than mothers. Yes. That is definitely the case. We have a daughter and a son, but we don't have a mother. Mm -hmm. Ah, Lulu's a mother. Yes. Mother to be? They're still mother? They hatch. They do hatch, yeah. See, all the important Gorons have hair. Yeah. He also has a diaper. See, I saw that and it made me immediately wonder, what do Gorons poop out when their diet is rocks? <laughs> I was also going there, but I wasn't saying it. <laughs> but I was saying his diaper. It's just cute. It's just the cue for baby, I think. But yeah, yeah it, but in world. Oh, it's just like daddy's. Right beside me. When he rolls up in a rock when he's got a diaper on, it's really funny. I love the like sigh of relief that Darmani Link he's has. Like, oh. The lullaby intros become the Goron lullaby. This lullaby blankets listeners in calm while making eyelids grow heavy. I, the, the way that they're like they're like these giant rocks but they're like moving yeah because they're like breathing and their sleep is really funny I feel like his snoring is almost as loud as his crying <laughs> probably just when you're in this room though it's more peaceful it is it is that it's less of an annoying noise and it, it yeah and you don't hear it anymore once you get out here so it is indeed uh I bet all the, the gorons around here are happy huh Okay, let's try this again. <laughs> that we found the way, the ramp down. Right. There are a lot of torches around here. There is more than I was expecting. Yeah, you thought it would be the first two? Is that what it was? Yeah. Ah, no wonder you were stopping and like, wait, what's that happening? You missed one. Turn around. Right there. There it is. I wonder if they go out after a certain amount of time, and so the first one was already gone out. Possible. That's the Goron shop, I think. We'll have to check that. This store is having trouble getting product because of the cold. Things are kind of expensive now, so you shouldn't shop here. Oh, I bet they love you standing right out there. <laughs> wow, you're a real promoter of this show. Well, this is a rare sight. Welcome. <laughs> you must be tough to have made it through the cold dress just in that outfit. In just that outfit. Yeah, that's very overpriced arrows. 80 rupees. It wasn't like 10 or 20 or something at uh, Magic Hag's potion shop. Magic Hag was selling this for 20. It's yeah. 30 in town. Yeah. So this is clearly not the place to be buying it. The standard apartment only have a few left. They have supply chain difficulties. Oh, wow. It's such a looking wall. Yeah, the te texture is really stretched. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I bet the shop loves having this guy right up front saying, don't shop here, it's too expensive. That must be very endearing. Ah, oh, he finally quit crying. But there's nothing to stop him from crying again. And whether this cold, even I want to start crying. So they have little patches of hair, but not yeah. the big long hair. Thank heavens! Was the elder son crying because he was hungry? 
There's nothing we can do. It's gotten so cold in the mountains. We just can't seem to get our hands on any of our food. At this rate, everyone will go hungry and die. But I have an emergency supply of food hidden away, so I'll be fine. Nice. Just I just saw a rock on the ground. You could eat that one. But I, I see there's three more. You could eat those. Yeah. But it's like I was mentioning about someone. I mentioned this in the uh, Ocarina of Time with the Gorons, I think. That we are made of carbon and our houses are made of wood are made of carbon. But we don't see them as being the same thing. thing yeah. So maybe the rocks they eat don't seem like the rocks they build their houses out of Yeah. to them. This is nice. The elder son has finally stopped crying. Now we can sleep too. The fact that you're doing this at night, actually, like it's 1030, is actually kind of appropriate. <laughs> it's all about oh. people. Oh, they woke up again. So the baby is still sleeping, but they woke up. Whew, that helped. The torch lights are back to normal. Well, just in here. I like the blocks over there. Yeah, the kid stuff. This is great. The elder son's finally quit crying. Maybe we can sleep now too. Yeah, he's got like the... Well, oh, wait... We should look at those toys a little bit more, too, because he's got, like, a... T what is that? Like, a wagon? Or a teeter-totter kind of thing? Well, I don't know. He's got some fun stuff. Yep. It's funny that, like, they're very simple, but they look like toys. Like, they look like young yeah. child's toys. Even though I've never actually seen young child's toys that look like that, they look like they have the... They, they authentically feel like something you can imagine being a young kid's toys. Yeah. Isn't that interesting? It is. I don't know. They have the essence of a child's toys. Ooh, that was nice. You just jump up like that. All right, last torch. Woohoo, we did it. And there's lots of light. Maybe it'll warm things up. Yay. It's a good thing I hit some food before it got so cold, but it's a secret. Oh, look, there's uh, dancing Gorons on the floor. Did you see that? See? Yeah. That's cool, huh? I like some of the artwork they have on the walls in this game. So I think the 3DS kind of goes even further and has even more. Yeah, the 3DS has much better texture resolution. Um, the Nintendo 64 actually is somewhat... I don't know if notorious is quite the right word, but... <laughs> Um, I definitely think of it as having really bad uh, texture resolution. So it's it's just its textures are very limited in size. Uh huh. But they do get to have some stuff. And don't wake the kid up by running into him, right? I don't think that one had the sirloin steak fallout. Rock sirloin, whatever they call it. Yeah. So we'll have to keep looking. Ah. Ow. I don't know why I said ow. <laughs> I don't know it either. It wasn't painful. It, I, it might have been for Darmani, maybe. I don't know. Did he find that painful? I don't know. Boing, boing. All right. Let's try again. It's a little bit, a little bit luck. Yeah, because you have to get the one that's got the thing in it. And of course, it's never the first one you try, is it? I mean, one out of five times it is. There's five of them, not four of them. Oh, you're right. That explains why there were four when you hit one already. I thought maybe it just regenerated or something. Mm, thankfully, no. That would be really annoying because then you couldn't tell which ones you already gotten. Why is my ear itchy? This is really itchy this is weird, isn't it? It's really frustrating when you're itchy in a place you can't really reach, like inside of your ear canal. It's like, I, I can't reach that. Yeah. Or like inside your nose and it looks like you're picking your nose when you're trying to itch. <laughs> yeah. That's annoying too. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> All right, let's try again with the red carpet here. So you know they're the Goron chiefs. They have the red carpet. Ah, so close. Fuck. And is this the last one, isn't it? Or are there two more? There's two more. There's last two I more. Saw. Okay, they were just so far apart on opposite sides that it looked like there was only one, because you'd only see one at a time practically. Yeah, this is 
a bit tedious. There's, there might be some good way of going about this, but if there is, I, I don't know. I don't think there's a way to know which one has it. I think it's just the luck of the draw. Do you have the da -da -da -da, or whatever noise it makes when you successfully do something? I mean, yes. I think it'll play a cutscene showing the rocks are line flying out of the very last thing. <laughs> and then this is a bit hard because it has to be timed where you can hit it, and there's no way to be able to do that when you're starting way back in the kid's room. You know, you can't see to yes, time that. Yes, that is indeed part of the problem. <laughs> yeah. That's a large part of the problem, frankly. Which is why you aborted, I'm taking it. Yeah, I felt like I wasn't going to hit that properly. Yeah, it, you, maybe you could have, but it wouldn't have been ideal. That and that. If it was going the other direction, it would be coming towards you. That would be easier, but it was going away from you. At least the pot seemed to regenerate. I don't know how this is a block. <laughs> That's really funny! I prostrate myself before the enemy and they cease to deal damage to me. That's it. You'd think the, turning into a, like the ball, the, you know, Goron ball or Metroid ball or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> a, Metroid ball. Would be the thing that would be like defensive rather than lying down on the floor. Ha! Huh. No? No! So close. What are the green things that are alternating with the Gorons on the floor? Dragons? The Dongos, maybe? Oh, I bet it's a Dodongo. I, that's the same thing as a dragon, right? I, we were both correct. You were more correct than I was, but we were both correct. I stand by that. The Dongos are dragons. Sure. What's funny is I'm not sure how they even really have the Dongos in Snowhead versus... You didn't want to abort that one, huh? Nah. I don't think they really have Dongos in Snowhead. They just have them, like, in the getting to Snowhead. Yeah, I think you're right. Like, I can't think uh, of anything in the area. When I say Snowhead, I mean the whole, like, northern area here, not, like, literally just the mountain part. Um, but, uh, like, you know, they have that one cavern you, you tried killing... We need this for a mask, by the way, if that wasn't clear, which is why I keep... Trying? Trying this. Yeah, this is for a mask. Um, and that's why we weren't like, well, now you see what this looks like, like we were with the sw the shooting gallery. Yeah. We were like, you know, good enough. We demonstrated the principle to you. This is actually part of the 100%ing masks. Yeah, because I want to get all of the masks. For the mask that we're not going to use, because it's too annoying to do the thing you do with it. You get a piece of heart out of it. But, uh... Are you able to, like, start partway through where you can, like, see the thing? Just start all the way back to do it. Um. I can maybe start partway, but it's going to be a near thing. Yeah. Not enough where you would be able to see it. I notice they have the same symbol as the Goron Ruby in some of their walls and, like, the those cloth things they've got. Like, there's a little bit of lead up. walking past. Yeah, like right there, you can see it's got the Goron Ruby symbol. And, yeah. on, and on the red carpet, it's got that too. It's backwards for us right it now. It does. Ha, 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 ha! Finally! Oh, that took forever. And they played the noise. What? The crying stopped! But there's nothing wrong with my eyes! He's supposed to be dead! Yeah, I see Dermani standing right before my own eyes! It is you! Y you can have the food I hid in Chandelier up there, so please just, just die in peace! Oh, the chandelier! So this is how it works. I had no idea. <laughs> All right, rock sirloin. Do you want to eat that? No. If it was meat, would you want to eat it? That would be way too much. And with that weird bone in the middle? Like, maybe if you, like, slow roasted it so it's really tender falling off the bone. Yeah. And, like, had a whole lot of people. Pot roast, right? I had a lot of people to share it with. And, like, you added some vegetables and spices. Like, if this is supposed to be raw meat, as it were, then definitely not, but... Ah! That, I believe, is a gatekeeper, by the way. Oh, that could be. And so if you are not a Goron, you can pound... He will pound the ground for you to open the door. Mm-hmm. Because you can't do it yourself. Um, but he's very miserable having to be outside when it's this cold. So he's just rolling around and rolls himself into a snowball. He, he turned into a snowball, yeah. So that's how you know he was really, really miserable. 
Wolfos, I don't want you. Yeah, this is a this is a test run for when you've got the powder keg and you have to do the same thing and have the Wolfos kind of chase after you, right? Yeah. Because it's the same path. I remember the first time we played this, we did, had no idea where the Goron racetrack was. Oh, yeah. And we were kind of like, where am I supposed to take this thing? We, we had zero sense. We thought it was somewhere in that same area where the Goron village is. The fact that you had to like go across that area with the, the water that we just went through. You can't tell it's water because it's frozen, but you know where the Goron Elder was. We had to go into that area and like across those bridges and then up the thing. We did not know that at all. We were like, it must be somewhere in this Goron village area. We can't find it. Whoa, oh, oh! Up here, up here! Look at the frog on his head. I am sorry to bother you from such a high place. But I'm very hungry, and I have gotten stuck here. I feel like you have to be moving to get throw, otherwise you're standing at strop. Th th that's it! It's so good that I dream about it! Dodongo Caverns, finest quality rock sirloin! Is it an import? I was going to say, let's discuss Dodongo Cavern here in this context. We have seen that people seem to be going back and forth between Lost Woods, like the... the uh, Skull Kid and Tattle and Tail mm -hmm. and the Happy Mass Salesman and you have gone like back and forth. I mean, you're not going back and forth just once, yeah. but they seem to be going back and forth. So maybe they have some kind of trade route? I don't know. Maybe. This is his favorite meal. This is my absolute favorite. Blessed be this meal. We don't get to watch him eat it. Aww. Oh, my energy has returned to me. I am coming down now. Wait one moment. Apparently that took a lot of energy that he didn't have before. That frog in his head's so funny looking. Oh, I wondered who it might be. Why, if it isn't Armani, you are alive? Yes, I see. That is the reason why you knew my favorite food. Oh, I almost forgot. Please accept this as a token of gratitude. All right, Don Jero's mask. It looks just like Don Jero, the conductor of the Frog Choir. What does the mask man say about it? The happy mask salesman, if you wear this mask in front of him, says that it is operatic. Cool. It was crafted so well that no one would even think twice if you were to direct the Frog Choir. It just makes sense that you find it here because that's where the frogs are. Yeah. I hope that spring will come soon so that I can hear the frog's enthusiastic performance. Hope as I might, it's still cold. I'm going back to Goron Village. And he rolls away. Over the hills and far away. Yep. That's a song. Alright. Let's head towards the dungeon, shall we? Yes. Is there an owl statue in the village itself? There, No, there's an owl statue at Snowhead. And there's an owl statue here. I don't think there's one in Goron Village proper. They normally have one in the region and one by the temple. That makes sense. I mean, it's not that far from there to the village anyway. It's not horribly far. I mean, to go through some wolf house and stuff, but... Ah! This is a little hard to aim, by the by. Okay, good to know. It's the, uh... Not having to control the, uh... The camera very well probably doesn't help. And you're very fast. So is this how you want Sonic to play? Uh, no, I want Sonic to be more controllable than that. <laughs> I have escaped from the city in my head. Setting Adventure 2 Battle. Yeah. I liked that game. The, 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 I did too. Do you see the statue? So, what's sad is that this big Goron probably inadvertently killed Darmani. Yeah. Because it said it was the wind that blew him into the valley below. So this this guy is the one that killed Armani. Kind of a sad thing, huh? We want iron boots, right? <laughs> <laughs> Snowhead Temple. High winds ahead. Gusts and snow flurries may blow careless travelers off the cliffs. Apparently, Darmani is a careless traveler. What's that? There's something in the middle of that blizzard. Can't you see it? Oh, hi, fairy. Were you planning that? Yes. Oh, I didn't know there was a fairy there. I mean, I assumed one of those was a fairy. Yeah, I mean, you have to figure it's going to be close to the owl statue. Hi, 
Hi, Big Goron. You are quite the windbag, huh? No. Nope. You were right the first time. You seem to go to A after that. Sorry, I'll start with A. There you go. I don't know why the directions keep making my brain I'm so thrown <laughs> off, but they do. You're like me, don't know left and right, huh? Um, it actually, I have to say, this song does float like a lullaby. Because I remember some of the lullabies like Shoheen Show that we learned on the recorder. Oh, uh-huh. Are where, where it kind of like does the same note, like forwards and backwards and stuff. Like it doesn't have a lot of notes. So the fact that it's like this da 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 da, da like you just do the same notes backwards at the end rather yeah. than introducing new notes, it feels like a lullaby kind of thing. So it does have some of the sound I feel like a, a the lullaby has, which is interesting. Is this the same cycle that we did Woodfall on? Yes. I believe so. Because that's why you have the pictograph. Whee! Oh no, that's how Dharmani died the first time. You killed him twice. How dare you? It's there's even nice wind there's even wind to blow you off this time. Just a really narrow ledge with rocks. So somewhere along this route is where we would pass by the great fairy. Yeah. Um, oops. We're just gonna walk that. That's pro oh, there's the great fairy there's right there. The great fairies. There hey, you can get healed if you want to. Oh, you mentioned that these guys exist, so the white ones, the white version of them. Yeah. They really like Wolfos in this place, by the way. Ow! Apparently they don't roll well. That's good to know, I guess. Bunnyhead? I think it's time for it. It's a little faster if you're not going to be rolling. Just have to dodge the, uh, the giant snowballs. Yerp. That's not too big of a deal. Until it gets narrow, but we'll see. Wonder how your shield handles them. Like, does it push you off, or does it bounce them off of you? Oh. Or? That's clearly meant for a Goron to be rolling past. Yeah. But you can tell the shape of it. All right, Snowhead Temple. I think we're gonna do this in the time we have left, but not in this episode. So we're gonna call this one a little bit short, uh, but we're gonna go ahead and wrap up here. Uh, and you're, pause before we get ambushed. Let's say you're about to be attacked. Uh, and next time we'll do Snowhead. Yeah, so can you that'll be it? exciting. Yeah. So uh, until then, everyone, thank you very much for watching. Take care and goodbye. Bye bye.